homicides are actually down slightly from this time last year in the city of Richmond, but aggravated assaults, which include shootings, are way up, comparable to pre-COVID levels. And I used to drink hard liquor at 14, and you're trying to heal this pain on the inside. Marquise Trent has been there, done that. There's something wrong with me. This pain hurts. Let me find a way to ease that pain. But 10 years ago, he escaped the streets and is now working to convince young people to turn away from his old lifestyle, including the guns and the violence. Treat people how you want to be treated. And I promise you so much will change. In his book, he argues gangster rap is making the situation worse. This guy's telling you I used it to justify doing wrong, and now he's doing two life sentences plus 60 years. Problem both Trent and Richmond Police Chief Gerald Smith say the police cannot fix alone. What if other people stood up and say, hey, man, this is up to us. We can't expect the police to do it. The police going to do their job. Smith says his office is working hard to get illegal guns off the street. Opposition uh, Red Ball has taken 159 firearms to date off the street. And is in the process of reviewing applications for violence interrupters who will work to prevent ongoing disputes from escalating to violence. Sometimes someone from the community may be able to actually step in there to calm, thing, to calm things down. Smith's spokesperson also handed out this gun violence prevention packet put together by the office of Mayor LeVar Stoney that lays out a multifaceted approach to reducing gun violence, including more out-of-school programming, improving officer recruitment and salaries, and addressing the root causes of crime. The gun violence initiative that was re released yesterday, that is the way you do it. We can actually do our job. We can go out there and lock as many people up who commit crimes as we can, but the way you actually stop it in lower numbers and keep them down and sustain them is through a community effort. Now, at the press conference today, the police chief did not specifically release shooting no numbers, so I asked him for that data. He told me he would get it for me today, but then I later received an email from a spokesperson for the police department. She said they would be considering my request as a Freedom of Information Act request and would require five additional days to get that data. So once I get that, I'll let you know what they show. Working for you tonight in Richmond, I'm Melissa Hippolyte for CBS 6.